So threat actors are coming up with more uh, clever ideas of gaining a foothold, and people really don't think of that sometimes. Do you, are you feeling the pressure from a time constraint, given the elevation of these new, more capable and well-resourced adversaries? Yes, I think there's a there. I think there's a lot more pressure. It's just in interesting just to look at the industry and how it's evolved since you know I've been in security since 2004 prior to that sysadmin, but uh, since I started my first pen testing role in 2012, it's gotten so much more difficult to gain a foothold, but then it's also uh, the nation states, the threat actors have become more advanced. I think it's more of a risk now than what it was before, but I also think there's a lot more educational resources for those that want to, you know, for nation states or other uh, malicious hackers in the tools are just leveled up what they could do. But while it's kind of interesting balance that endpoints have gotten more hard to to bypass as a pen tester, but threat actors are really more heavily relying on social engineering, whether it be phishing or vishing type of activities to gain a foothold. Because it's kind of interesting that I was listening to a podcast from Black Hills Information Security Group. It was probably back in 2020 or 2021. And they were talking about how the endpoint detection systems are getting so difficult to bypass that as a pen tester, you're having to find other ways in, try to find other devices to come from. And so threat actors are starting to move to devices like cameras, just like the Acura ransomware. They weren't able to get a foothold, so they were able to exploit a camera. I believe it had default credentials or easily guess credentials, gain access to that system, and through an SMB share, share internally was able to spread the ransomware. So threat actors are coming up with more clever ideas of gaining a foothold and people really don't think of that sometimes they don't really think of a, a camera as a risk because as pen testers for years we've been trying to to collect information off of printers so threat actors are starting to use these devices that people don't expect if you're running like a zero trust type network they're going to see this as a trusted resource this printer this webcam they're going to view it as a security camera is something that's kind of benign and not a risk but we need to take all things in consideration